Welcome back again, ladies and gentlemen. Paul Chamberlain, the Air Force guy here at Beckley's RV. And today, we're gonna cover the 2021 Omni. This is the SV34. For more information on this camper or any others, just check out our website and reach out to us. So let's get started. Now, one thing you're gonna notice on this when you're looking at it is, of course, on the front cap, as well as the rear cap, you're gonna notice one piece molded fiberglass pieces. The benefit to you there is you have less leaking opportunities. Now, the other thing on this front cap is the fact you're gonna notice the large windshield. Now, that's beneficial to you when you're camping. Now, they do have a way to make it private so you don't have to look out or people aren't looking in as well. Now, as far as the chassis is concerned, this is the Ford F550 chassis with a 6.7 liter diesel 10 speed transmission. Now you're talking about 330 pounds, 330 horsepower, as well as over 800 pound feet of torque. So this thing is gonna be able to do the job that you're gonna want it to do. Now looking down the side of your camper, this is a door side. You're gonna notice that you have adequate outside storage compartments that actually this one, the rear one will actually go all the way through, whereas the front one is gonna go ahead and just go partially the way through, but it's adequate storage. But the other thing you're gonna like, and boy, I'll tell you, this is something that is needed, is the outside kitchen with the TV. Because I'll tell you, for those of you that like to spend your time outside like I do, this is a great way to hang out, do your cooking. You can have all your condiments in here. I know people say that this is great, I keep my beverages in here. Folks, let me tell you, I don't like getting out of my chair to get my beverage. I just reach over in that cooler, much easier, and they're much colder that way as well. Now, I know you're probably thinking to yourself, yeah, it's great, it has an outside TV, but what's the problem with most outside TVs? The speakers are way up top and you can't hear it. You gotta turn it up way too loud. Well, they've solved that issue. Take a look at the sound bar. Down low, coming directly at you, so when you're sitting, when you're sitting down here, you're actually gonna be able to hear it. So, speaking of the job that you wanna get done, Look at this massive hitch. This is a class five receiver on here, capable of pulling up to 10,000 pounds with a 1,000 pound tongue weight. That's a two and a half inch receiver there. So as I had mentioned earlier about the one piece molded fiberglass cap front and rear, this is the rear one. And as you can see, you do have a ladder to get up on the roof. But now you say, well, why would I want to get on the roof? The benefit of getting up the roof, if you want to get up there, you want to sunbathe, you want to go ahead and do maintenance, clean your roof, whatever you can. Now, once you get up there, you're gonna be able to see that you have the 100 watt solar panel, as well as the WineGuard 2.0 for your Wi-Fi and hotspot. Okay, so now what you're gonna like about up in the front here, it's very user friendly. Of course, instead of having your monitor for your rear, uh, rear view camera here, as well as your side view cameras, they put it up in what would be your rear view mirror, and that's gonna be where, where you're gonna be able to see when you're turning, you'll be able to see down the side of your coach as well as your mirrors. And of course, when you're backing up or as you're driving down the road, you'll be able to monitor what is behind you. Now, on top of that, now you're not taking up your screen for your navigation, or this is also set up for your phone. So it's, it's both, both uh, the Apple Play or the Android, Android Play. So you can go ahead and put things from your phone right onto this screen. Now, in addition to your normal 12 volt connection down here, USB and so forth and charging ports, you're also gonna have what we call a 12 volt and a 110 outlet right here that is going off an inverter system. So you can actually plug in 110 items while you're driving down the road. Now, one thing I did not mention outside was the fact that this is actually a Super C, but it is a four wheel drive. So you have that option for those times that you might need the additional traction. So now once you walk in here and you have all the lights on, you're gonna have that wow factor. You know, with the way the cabinets are, the upholstery, and then of course the fact that you have a seven foot ceiling inside of this coach. So now the nice thing you're gonna like about when you walk in the door is very easy for you to turn your battery disconnect on, very easy for you to turn your inverter. You have some light switches down there, as well as for the solar panel, you have the, uh, you have the control for that as well. And then right up here, this is where you're gonna have for your leveling system, and it is an auto leveling system as well. Okay, so what they do, I love what they do here with the panel. This is your, by the way, it's a multiplex 
uh, wiring system. Benefit there, less wiring, less weight, uh, easier to diagnose when you have an issue because you have one power source. But the beauty of this system is the fact that if you have a smartphone, all you need to do is put the app on your smartphone. You can operate everything from your awning, your slide outs, your lights, your generator. Everything can be operated right from your phone. It makes it very beneficial. Now on this particular one, you also have an automatic generator start. Benefit there, you can set it for time. You can set it for power, meaning if you have low battery, or you can set it for temperature. And those are the three different settings that you can set this off. That way there, if you have a pet that's sitting in here and you were hooked to power, in the event that it got to a certain temperature in here, the generator could cook, uh, click on because maybe of a lost power, and that way there your air conditioner could be on as well. So continuing with the wow factor is, you take a look at this slide out. It is a one full wall slide. Now what does that do for you? The benefit is you don't have a slide on your door side cutting into your awning space. But then look at the space that you have inside while it's out. Now, with that in mind also, the amount of room that you're gonna have on the inside, even when it's in, you're still gonna be able to function moving front to back. And then with the bed towards the back, the bed having the recline position, that gives you more floor space in front of it, and we'll get to that here momentarily. Now, a question I get asked all the time is, well, Paul, how many is this place, how many people will this sleep? This can sleep up to six to eight people. Now, maybe you're not somebody that wants to sleep additional people. In that case, what I'd recommend you do is get one of those plaques. It says cocktails for six, dinner for four, sleeps two. That'll save you. So now with the dinette booth, the nice thing about the dinette booth is you have a seatbelt on either side. Now, for those of you that might be traveling with an infant, you want to put a car seat here. Well, that's fine because they do have a seatbelt tether right here that keeps the car seat from moving forward um, while you're stopping. Now, very easy to make this thing a bed. And by the way, it does have cup holders, so that way there are you're traveling, you're able to set your beverages in here, they're not sliding all around the table. To make this a bed, all you're gonna do is unlatch it underneath, and then it just pushes down. You'll bring the, these cushions to the middle, and then you, there you have a bed. Okay, so now for your windows here, for the sofa and the dinette, what you're gonna like is the fact that you have, I call it day night shades, they're really not, but you have a, what we call a screen. The screen here, the benefit of this is the fact that it blocks out the sun from coming in, but you're able to see out. Now these are frameless windows, they're heavily tinted. So the benefit is during the day you're able to look out and people can't see back in. At night you're gonna pull down what we consider the blackout shade. So now you can't see out, but they can't see in either. Okay, so now the front window we talked about, right now it's covered up, but the nice thing is all it is is this push button right here. And you're gonna push it as you can see, this will go ahead and pull the cover away from the window so that you can actually see out the window, have that extra additional lighting coming in your coach when you want it, you choose it. So the benefit of this bed up here, it's actually, it's almost a queen size bed. It's 58 inches front to back, it's 80 inches across. But you see, it's lower to the ground than in most class C's. It is 44 inches to the top right here. So makes it easy. You don't need to use a ladder if you don't want. Some people just use a sofa and they're able to hop right on up in there. Okay, so now you have a nice 40 inch TV that slides out here. I know some of you are saying, well, geez, Paul, how's that gonna stay there when you're moving? You actually have some knobs on the side that you can tighten. But this is a 40 inch TV. And, and I know the next thing you're gonna say, well, Paul, do I need to run the generator while I'm going down the road in order to watch this? No, you don't. This does have an 18 watt, 1800 watt, pure sign and in wave inverter that you could run the TV here, the TV in the bedroom, as well as the outlets at the bedroom, in, in the bedroom area, if you're needing to use 110 without the generator or without being plugged in. Now, for those of you that like cooking indoors, I think you're gonna enjoy this kitchen because it's gonna give you best of three worlds, in, in my opinion. They're gonna give you your cooktop. So you have a two burner cooktop. You have your true induction cooktop as well. Now, the benefit of a uh, induction cooktop, if you, if you have it on, you put your hand on it, it is not gonna burn you. Okay, so that's something beneficial. You have to have special cookware in order to utilize it. But now, due to the fact that you do not have the oven, you have the convection microwave. Now, it is the larger of the convection microwaves, so you're gonna actually be able to cook things inside of there. So now you're cooking in here, and you need to get rid of some fumes. Maybe your smoke alarm's going off, or you're gonna cook something where the smoke alarm will go off. 
solution to that because you don't have a vent. You, there's a vent that's on here, but the exhaust, for those of you who might have it in the house, it's just coming out of the top of the microwave. You do have the vent above you. All you need to do is make sure that you have a window open. You can have a window or a vent open. I'm gonna do this so you're able to see how much air is flowing. And then you just come over to your control panel here. I'm gonna turn this thing on. And now you can see the amount of air coming in over the kitchen counter. You see how much this is blowing here because that is actually pulling the air on through. You do not have to have a window or another vent open when utilizing it. And the benefit to you there is you're not bringing that hot air in from outside or the cold air when it's cold out. Okay, so you woke up this morning. You wanna watch some TV. Maybe you wanna get a cup of coffee while you're in bed. Guess what, you can recline this bed like this. TV's looking, I'm looking straight onto the TV. You're able to relax. Now what this also does for you is the fact that it, look at all that leg room in front of the bed so that in the event that you need to get dressed, it gives you all that additional floor space. So now what you're gonna like about this bed is the fact that this is a king size mattress, 72 inches wide by 80 long. Now for those of you that are short enough, you don't even need to recline it if you don't want to. You can sit up against, they get this nice padded thing, you know, you get your pillow, you can sit here and still stretch out, relax, and watch TV, read a book, whatever works for you. Okay, so now another thing you're gonna like about this is the fact that you have two air conditioners. So this is a 50 amp service, but two air conditioners. The benefit of having the air conditioner in the bedroom is that gives you warm air return. Now, the front AC is still gonna be throwing cold air back here, but you would not, if you close your, your bedroom door here, you would not have any real air circulation. So this has its own thermostat back here, so you're gonna be setting it for this room here, and of course the front AC for the front area. Now, since we don't have the swinging doors, having the pocket doors is much more beneficial as you're driving down the road, but also for convenience. Because see, when the, when the doors are, are closed, obviously they're nice and decorative, but see, when they're open, they're not in the way. So you have that both for the bedroom as well as for the bathroom, making it much easier to utilize but again, much more convenient. So you're gonna enjoy this. For those of you that like to take longer showers, you're gonna enjoy the fact that it has the propane style Girard uh, water heater system. And that's an on-demand water heater system, meaning that you're basically, you demand hot water, you're gonna get hot water. So you can take those longer showers. Well, assuming that your gray tank is, uh, doesn't fill up yet. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Paul Chamberlain, the Air Force guy here at Beckley's Camping Center, showing you the all new 2021 Omni. This is the SV34. Again, for more information on this or any others, be sure to reach out to us on our website. And please do like this video, share it out there on social media, and hopefully we'll see you one day.